Here we're going to use the graph of f and g to evaluate the function f times g of 1. Uh, so recall that we're going to have to evaluate both functions. So we're going to find f of 1 and then we're going to find g of 1. And what we're going to do is this time we're going to multiply their outputs. So let's go ahead and proceed by finding f of 1. So that's my blue graph. So I'm going to go over 1. I'm not on the blue graph. To get on the blue graph, I need to go up 1, 2, 3. So f of 1 equals 3. Next, we want to find g of 1. That's our red graph, the square root function. So we're going to go over 1. And to get on the graph, we're going to go up 1. So g of 1 equals 1. And so we're going to multiply those two values together and we have f times g of 1 equals 3.